Welcome to the featured video of Tax Exempt for WooCommerce. This extension provides you a proper system through which you can grant tax exemption to selected customers and user roles. Display a tax exemption form on my account to let customers submit tax information to claim exemption. The store admin can review the submitted tax exemption details and approve or disapprove exemption requests. The store admin can also grant tax exemption to specific customers and user roles without having them submit a tax form. Let's go to the back end and see how this extension works. Go to WooCommerce and click on Tax Exemption. Here you can see multiple settings. In general settings, check this box if you want to automatically remove the tax for the tax-exempted customers. We will keep it unchecked to show a checkbox for tax-exempted customers to manually remove tax from checkout. If you want to let customers submit tax exemption requests, you can enable two custom input fields and a file upload field on My Account page. You can customize field labels and limit the allowed file types for the file upload field. Now let's go to the tax exemption request option. Here you can select user roles who will see the tax exemption request form on My Account page. Enable this option if you want an auto-approved tax exempt request or keep it unchecked to manually approve exemption requests. Enable this option if you want to display a message on the checkout page to let the above user roles know that they can apply for tax exemption if applicable. From Guest tab, just like for registered user roles, you can display a tax exemption message to guest users to let them know that they can apply for tax exemption by creating an account. Now go to Email and Notification section. Enter the admin or shop manager email here. You can customize tax exemption emails sent to store admin and the users when a new request is submitted and when it's approved or declined. You can use different variables to customize these emails, and for admin email, you can add approval and disapproval links to directly approve or reject any tax exemption request from email. Let's go to the front end and see how it works. Let's add a product to cart. You can see the tax appearing on the cart. Go to checkout page. As per the extension settings, you can see the tax appearing and tax exemption availability message. Once clicked, the customer is taken to My Account page to let them submit this tax exemption request form. Once the exemption form is submitted, the admin will receive an email and can approve it directly from email or they can approve it from the WordPress admin panel under the user detail page. Here they can also set a tax expiry date to automatically revoke tax exemption after expiry. You can see the tax exemption status has been changed to approved. Let's go to the checkout page and see its effect. Since we have enabled an option to manually remove tax, the customers will be able to remove tax by clicking on this checkbox. Let's select the Remove Tax Automatically checkbox from General Settings to Auto Remove. You can see now the tax has been automatically removed from the product page. The tax won't appear on cart or checkout page as well. Now let's go to the back end to see how the Force Tax Exemption settings work. Under the Exempt Customers and Roles tab, you can select specific customers and user roles to make them tax exempted. Now these customers do not require to go through the process of submitting the tax exemption forms and wait for admin approval. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.